Hey, what's up YouTube? Today I'm going to show you how to fix a broken LCD monitor. Uh, the problem that I'm having with it is that the power comes on fine, the power indicator lights up fine, um, and when you first turn on the monitor you see a uh, screen for about a second or two and then it goes black. Now if you turn the monitor off and turn it on again you can see the screen again, but it won't stay on for any amount of time. Um, the most common reason for this is that there's a blown capacity on the power board. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to open it up, we're going to take a look at the power board and see if there are any bad capacitors, and then we're going to replace them. The model that I have here is a liquid video. The model number is L17LCD2. Okay, so in order to fix this monitor, here's what we're going to have to do. We're going to have to open it up, um, and that's going to require taking some screws out, uh, and then taking a look at the circuit board to see whether or not there are bad capacitors because we think that's the issue and if there are bad capacitors we're going to want to take those out and replace them um, so the first thing you're going to want to do is take the stand off of this monitor so if you turn the monitor around there are four screw holes back here holding in the base um, I've already taken those screws out um, and then you simply lift the monitor off the base set it down on its face and you can put the base aside. So the next thing we're going to want to do is take the back panel off of the chassis. Okay, so what I've done is I've taken out the five screws holding on the back cover. One, two, three, four, five. And then I've just taken a flathead screwdriver and I've put it in around the edge and just popped it up um, all the way around. And now I can take this cover off. So once you have the back cover off, you're going to be looking at the noise shield, which is this silver piece here. And to remove this, you need to take out four screws. There's two screws in the bottom corners, and then there's two hex nut screws. So let's go ahead and do that. And you might need need a nose pliers to get these off, but mine are kind of loose. So I can just take them off with my fingers. And then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to pull down gently on the noise shield. And it'll pop right off. Okay, now that we have the noise shield off and the circuit board exposed, on the power supply board we're looking for possibly bad uh, electrolytic capacitors where the tops are bulging. On my board, uh, the one over here, and I'll show you a close-up of it later, mark C922 looks like it's bad. So in order to get the power board off of the monitor, I'm going to have to take off five screws, one in the corner here, two, three, four, five, and the one holding down the ground. Um, and then I'm going to have to take off the connectors. There's two over here on the bottom, two over here on the top one on this side and one on this side. For ease of removal, I'm actually going to take the connector off the right hand side here. So if you take a look at the capacitor on the far right, the black one, the top of it is slightly bulging. Uh, that indicates that it's possibly a bad capacitor and that's the one we're going to want to remove. Okay, so I removed the capacitor C922. Um, it has a bulging top and as you can see it doesn't sit quite flat on the sheet of paper on the desk. Uh, so that's the one that I'm going to replace. On the circuit board, the top and the bottom indicate the polarity of the capacitor. So on the top here, the negative side is on the right, and right here in the bottom where I removed the capacitor, the negative side is on the left. So it's the mirror image. Alright, so my monitor is put back together. I went over to Radio Shack and I got an electrolytic capacitor of the same value but with a slightly higher voltage rating. Uh, the voltage rating on the original capacitor was 16 volts and I got one that was 35 volts. It cost me less than two dollars and I have connected this to my laptop now and let's see if it works. So I power on, the monitor is on, it stays on. So quick and easy fix, instead of replacing a monitor for 
uh, upwards of $100. Uh, we replaced one of the capacitors for less than 2 bucks, and the whole thing took about 30 minutes. If you like this video, click the thumbs up button, and thanks for watching.